Also tonight, we have new details into the deaths of sailors assigned to the Norfolk base USS George Washington. They come after a visit from a senior enlisted Navy leader to the carrier. As we've reported, seven people assigned to the Washington have died in the past year, three by way of suicide. Tonight, what the Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy had to say about the crew's concerns. Ten on your side's Kara Dixon continues our coverage of this story. Kara? Lena and Tom, in a statement, Russell Smith, who is the highest enlisted officer in the Navy, says he heard a lot from the crew during his visit to the Washington and will share their concerns with senior Navy leaders to make them aware of the impacts they're having on sailors. Following the deaths of seven people over the last year serving on the USS George Washington, the Navy opened an investigation into the ship's leadership and culture. And recently, Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Russell Smith, the senior enlisted leader in the Navy, stopped by the aircraft carrier to speak with those feeling the weight of those deaths. Ten on your side was not there for the meeting, but got a transcript of the conversation between Smith and the sailors. He acknowledged that while suicides have dropped over the last couple of years in the Navy, it's still a problem and there's not enough psychiatric care in the Navy. Smith told the group they hired 133 new mental health care workers as well as additional chaplains for ships. The Washington is currently undergoing refueling and maintenance in a Newport News shipyard. One sailor mentioned that it seems like more suicides happen while ships go through this period and Smith agreed, saying that some had difficulties not being out at sea doing the jobs they trained for. Sailors also mentioned the atmosphere in Newport News, stating there weren't many places close by for them to go on leave, which might help. But like everything, it would cost money. Sailors also talked about conditions while repairs and refueling take place. Things like power outages, lack of hot water, parking, and reported food shortages can be difficult. But when it came to getting more mental health resources here, he referenced other sailor resiliency centers and clinics that have helped sailors during difficult periods and seeing if something like that can be brought here. Now that meeting lasted about an hour. We have the full transcript over on wavy.com. In the newsroom, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side. Kara, thank you. And you can see all of our previous coverage of this story right now on wavy.com.